And Mike Golding then, uh, 50 days at sea on this uh, Vendée Globe. How are things on, on Gamesa today? Ah, very good. Uh, we've had a very steady uh, two and a half days of sailing under this uh, anticyclone. And uh, it's been quite steady conditions, almost Atlantic type conditions. Um, and uh, it's been quite easy sailing. So a uh, chance to sort of uh, clean up and look around the boat and uh, generally uh, make sure we're ready for the next uh, the next half of the race or the next part of the race. I think you even managed to get something resembling an English right. breakfast today, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was very proud of that. I managed to uh, toast egg and baked beans with HP sauce, which uh, I thought was uh, pretty special for 50 days into the Von Degelope better after that Mike that you're uh, recharged and ready for the next day absolutely absolutely it's uh, and makes makes a nice break from the regular freeze-dried food which all has uh, much uh, fancier names but tastes nothing like um, normal food and uh, will that be the last one of the race or do you still have some beans and uh, some beans and things left ah uh, well you know I might have kept a little bit back for a special occasion so um, so I've, always, I've still got some bread, which might surprise people. I've still got some eggs, which might surprise people. Not real eggs, but powdered eggs. Um, so uh, there you go. And tell me, it's seven Magic we bread. Yeah, se seven weeks into the race. I mean, we can see you in a relatively small space. Do you start to get cabin fever? Do you want uh, a little bit more uh, space? Do you feel claustrophobic at times? If I feel claustrophobic down here, all I have to do is go on deck and then you feel agoraphobic. <laughs> Life at the extremes, eh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, it goes from one extreme to the other. But, uh, well, you know, I mean, the reality is a few days ago we were sailing in fog and rain and the, the, <clears throat> the cloud level was really, really low. And now claustrophobic that was the way I described it at the time and um, but the cabin well it's small but uh, it's it's home to me um, just talking about uh, about Cape Horn it will be uh, a, b a big moment for you and you're saying you just you want to get out of the Pacific in uh, in one piece in good shape and at the moment everything's fine yeah I mean the, you know the reality is you come to the south expecting um, you know the south type conditions, icebergs, big waves. We've had uh, we've had a little bit of that, but um, it has been a relatively benign crossing. And in fact, the Indian Ocean was really, uh, for me, it's, it's sort of uh, centered around troughs and ridges, every one of which seemed to nail me. <laughs> so, so, um, so it's been a quite slightly different um, crossing, Southern Ocean crossing, than I was before. Uh, and different to the last edition where we were just uh, absolutely uh, on fire. But, uh, you know, that, that y you can see uh, with the way Armel and, um, and Francois have, have shot away that when you get the right set of systems, uh, what can be done. But uh, unfortunately, it's not been the same right the way across the fleet. And Mike, you speak with your, uh, your family fairly regularly, but... Overall, you, you tend to live in the, uh, the Vendée Globe bubble. Do you have an interest uh, in what's happening uh, in, the, in the wider world beyond uh, your family? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, whilst, it's, uh, whilst we're, our SAT communications is quite expensive, I do take the time and the trouble to uh, log on to the BBC website and just keep up with news at home and around the world. You know, it's, it is nice to know what's going on. Um, I do recall uh, being uh, on um, on the Vendée, I think, when the tsunami uh, happened and I was completely unaware. And um, um, I, I found that a little disturbing. It's nice to know what's going on in the world. And the, the sailing news at home is a knighthood for Ben Ainsley. Yeah, well deserved. And uh, my congratulations to him. What a... He has been an absolute star and uh, thoroughly deserves it. And, you know, uh, we're all very proud of Ben, uh, you know, uh, a British sailor and potentially the best sailor in the world. Well, that's uh, very kind words for him. Mike, a pleasure as ever to speak with you. We'll catch up again in a couple of days. Uh, thanks for talking to us. Thanks very much. See you later. See you.